half the speed. And uh, Louis Armstrong went up to them and he said, uh, uh, excuse me, can I say that you're not playing it fast enough? And he said, and the, the, the guy, the young trumpet player said, well, who are you then? And he said, I'm Louis Armstrong. Oh my God, he says, all right, okay, thanks for letting us know. And uh, uh, Louis Armstrong walked past them a couple of days later, and, they, and they're still playing Strutmus and Barbecue, but there's a placard in front of them saying, Pupils of Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, 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 Strutton Miss and Barbecue, uh, Louis Armstrong a Hot Five, where the, the bass and drums go off and buy the rest of us a drink. And you can't get out, can you? Your speed, Rico, you're the one who's got the difficult bit. Can do it at half speed then? No, you can't do it. <laughs> Jelly Roll Morton on the piano, and uh, they did a couple of Jelly's um, compositions, and we're going to do the King Porter Stomp. Uh, this morning it will sound as if uh, Jelly Roll Morton's playing the cornet and uh, King Oliver's playing the piano. <laughs> All right.
composition, which Adrian's going to, I won't say struggle with, he'll, he'll absolutely, it will, he'll just, you'll just fly through it. It's called slipping around. Right, you'll be permitted to sit, sit if you wish. Yes, that would be All right, okay, the rest of the band will be laying down. So, Adrian Fry, with full novelty accompaniment, slipping around by Myth Mom. I want to, I want to, I numbers uh, featuring Rico Tommaso, much beloved by fans of young Louis Armstrong. Got a tribute, please. Yeah. Who, who was the biggest, biggest, uh, grossing movie star of 1927? Who was the, yes, my drummer has asked, who was the biggest gross, gross, grossing, grossing movie, star movie star in 1927? He was dead. Rintin Tin. <laughs> well, there you are. Yeah, now Rudolph had been dead a year, but uh, there we are. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Potato Head Blues, which uh, when I was with Mike Daniels band was known affectionately as Spud Nut. Okay. I want to, I want to, to, to,
what you have done to my heart. Now you may regret the vows you've broken and the things you did that made us drift apart. Now you may be, be happy now.
Thirty-six. The music goes round and round. <laughs> Are you ready, guys?
Well, well, well. We've got it, lads. Yeah. Yep. Originally, it was uh, Dicky Wells and three trumpet players. So, Rico, James, and I will be the three trumpet players. Yeah. Yeah. Do we need, do we need a part? I've got those. Oh, no, I lost it. We might extend this, chaps.
from? Bobby <laughs> Hackett, Bobby Hackett, yeah. One of my, uh, yeah, rhyming slang for jacket. <laughs> Forgot the Bobby today. I thought that was Illinois. <laughs> Where's uh, me Illinois? Well, I've been listening to Bobby Hackett since I was a kid. And, um, and uh, I was lucky enough to meet him when I was about eight. And uh, he, um, he actually, my father said, uh, are you into it? Bobby said he, he played this beautiful cornet that was made by uh, this guy in Chicago who only made so many a year and all this. And my father said, uh, Bobby, look, look, give us the address and we'll, we'll get, actually be able to get one of these cornets for you. And I'm saying, oh, I'm not interested, no, I'm not interested. And he said to me, I said, why weren't you interested? I said, well, he's got, his cornet didn't have a little trigger on the bottom here, you know. Well, the thing, <laughs> at the age of eight, that's what, more, you're more interested in gadgets than, than tone and sound. So I've regretted that ever since. Um, Bobby Hackett was the most lyrical player ever for me. And also the greatest uh, um, accompanist for vocalists, uh, yeah. some of the great vocalists. Even Louis, when he got he got the um, when he got the uh, the All Stars together, um, he, Bobby Hackett was on on the on the concert, and he called Bobby in and he said, Bobby says, oh, I can't play with Louis. He says, No, he's the greatest. Louis said he was the greatest accompanist. And, uh, I mean, you can't have a better tribute than that, can you? So Bobby Hackett, yeah, one of the greatest. One of my favourites, and we've got what we're going to play. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Ah. Okay.
playing with the, the mute like uh, Bubba Miley and, uh, and, uh, and Cootie Williams and playing the wah wah mute, he used to do the same sort of thing with half valving. So he used to press a half a valve to get the same. Maybe he just forgot his mute one day, <laughs> I thought. And um, uh, so he imitated that style, but without the mute, he used the half valve thing. Right. He didn't have to go to the hardware shop every every month. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to play "Drop Me Off in Harm." Key of C. Piano to start it. <laughs> have a, um, another brass instrument in the band. It is, a, in fact, that uh, Martin Wheatley's guitar is made of brass. And uh, he's going to give you a, a finger-picking... What's it called? Sound home brass. 
Oh, it's called the Down the Home Rag. No, it's rag. not. No, it's not. It's, no, it's not. The Laughing Rag. The Laughing Rag. I knew it had rag in the title. So yes. a big band and played the popular songs of the day and this this is a lovely piece called Thanks a Million and uh, came from a, a film that starred Dick Powell. Okay. Are you ready Rico?
Who's that? Trumpet player in Fat Swallows Band was Herman Altry. No relation to Gene, but uh, Herman Altry was a great player. And we'd like to ask uh, our resident uh, U.S. citizen, uh, Mr. Jim Yudsty, to provide the the vocalizations. On, I'm going to sit right down. You're going to have to stand up. There we are. Sit right down and write myself a letter. Thank <laughs> you. 
drink everybody under the table as well. So, uh, you know, uh, a most marvellous person all together. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'd, um, we'd like to feature Rico without drink. On, um, he's got everything else. Yeah, it's, it's neat gin, is it? Actually, Bunny Berrigan had a, a special trumpet case made with a, you know, we normally keep you mutes. He kept a bottle and there was a, a you know, a proper bottle for it. They also have the bottle in, in the inside pocket and the straw behind the Yeah, bottle. you tell them about that then. Yeah. He used to keep a bottle in the inside pocket of his jacket and had a straw going through, through the lining behind the lapel. So on the stage you could just go... <laughs> the yeah, tricks of the trade then. That's a real professional. A real professional. Right, here you go. Yes.
and gentlemen, we put your hands together for members of the, the Little Devils. We have Adrian Fry at the trombone. Martin Wheatley at the banjo and guitar. From the USA, Jim Yitzdy. And at the Grand Jazz Percussion Kit, Richard Pite. And a special big hand for the gentleman who's had to take the brunt of this this morning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at the trumpet, Enrico Tommaso. We're going to sign off with the uh, old Louis Armstrong classic. It's called the the uh, Mahogany Hall Stone. Buskers, yeah. No music, baby. Right? This is jazz. 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 <laughs> jazz. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.